Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2018 tutorial. <clears throat> guys, I got a frog in my throat. Guys, I'm going to show you how to whiten some teeth, and I'm going to show you how to whiten some really nasty teeth. Now, I can almost guarantee you, no matter what field you're in or, or what you're doing, you're not going to come across teeth like these. But I chose this grill specifically because it's about the worst I could find. Like, this is some real awesome powers level stuff. And uh, the, the techniques that apply here um, will go a little bit, will go into depth, and obviously it won't come out perfectly. But if you can do a good job on these teeth, you can fix it any goddamn grill out there so let's roll okay guys first thing I've, if you want to follow along just drag and drop in some ugly ass teeth like this uh, yellow in this situation and with some cavities and who the hell knows what's going on in there and uh, yeah just throw it into your document all right the second thing is I'm just unlock that and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit command J or control J if you're on a PC and that creates a second layer so that way we're kind of working on um, non-destructively so if we don't like what we do we just go back to the original layer. I've also turned off the layer zero here or the background layer because, well, whatever, we want to work on this one. So the next step, guys, you want to do is when you got yellows like this and they're real nasty, we kind of want to go in and make a hue and saturation change to it. And the way to do that here is to come down to the bottom and you want to click on this create new fill or adjustment layer. Left click on that and then head on up and up. In about the middle, you're going to see hue saturation. Click on that one. And now you want to resist the urge to go in here and start tamping around with these things here. What you actually want to do is you want to go into the master here and drag and drop that down. So we were in uh, this little doodaddy here. Go to here, drop it down, and select yellows. Now, when you're on the yellows, that means we're only going to work with the yellow parts of this um, image. So we're going to go ahead and reduce the saturation and it's going to start to get lighter now obviously this guy's grill is pretty friggin messed so obviously this ain't going to do a whole hell of a lot but you'll notice that from here the yellow we've taken out the yellow tinge which is basically step one of many steps also i usually recommend you increase the lightness it gives it a nice brighter glow and it just makes it easier for us to work with so there we go guys now step one is done and if you want to look at the difference yellow white-ish, gray, ghosty looking. Uh, yeah, still nasty, but uh, we got work to do. The next thing I recommend you guys doing is we want to create a new layer. Well, actually, you know what? Let's click to the to the regular layer, part of me, and let's just work on this layer here. We're going to go ahead and use the spot healing brush. Let's see where we got that bad boy, right here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start trying to take out some of these nasty cavity cracky thingies, whatever the hell that's going on. Um, I also recommend guys while we're using the spot healing brush that you use a small size like this because we just want to keep we want to work quite fine and you also want to make sure that content aware is clicked up here because we kind of want the the content we want the the changes to resemble the content around it so let's just get working on this um, let's start with some really nasty stuff out here just click on it okay you'll notice that we got rid of a couple other things there um, again guys this is not perfect this is not meant to be perfect we're just doing some some ugly work here. Um, also up here is nasty little thing. Got rid of it. Little cracks in there. We got rid of it. This one here is really ugly. And the content around it isn't so pretty. So we're going to work out from the left side. We kind of want this content, even though it ain't great, to sort of work its way up to the top there. So let's just go ahead and slowly get our way in there. Um, Okay, that's looking not bad. Let's just do a little bit more here. Okay, sometimes you got to do a lot of different uh, over top of each other just to get it right. Um, and okay, this crack here is not what we want, so we got rid of the crack. And I think you guys see the point, uh, what we're doing here. We're just sort of, yeah, just sort of washing this stuff away. Uh, we're not going to work on all the teeth because this is a demonstration. This isn't like a final product in any way. Um, so this isn't something I'm going to go ahead and post on the on the internet and you're also probably not going to come across a guy with teeth like this <laughs> holy good god oh man uh, but this one here for example we're going to work on the, the cracks here let's see if we can get rid of it okay that's not perfect actually because um, we got rid of the line between the two teeth but again this is not a big deal I'm going to get rid of this here try and just oh yeah you see the pink there it's pulling in content from the outside so we want to again we want to be careful um, but uh, for now, you know what? We're, we're getting somewhere, and let's just go with that uh, yuck. Let's just get rid of that. 
Okay, good. So we've, we've worked on a few teeth, obviously. They're not perfect, but uh, that's not the point. The next point is we want to go in and start working on uh, the coloring, and we want to start painting now. So what we want to do is we want to create a new layer like this, and this layer is the one we're going to use for painting. Now you want to go over to your paintbrush and click on the brush tool. Make sure your brush tool is selected. Now you also want to go up here and you want to make sure that you've selected a soft brush. So uh, what if you to make sure that you guys are with me here, uh, you can follow along. I'm just going to go ahead and reset my brushes so that no matter what, um, we're all starting on the same pages. So I've just reset my brushes. And then this is what you're usually opened up with. And this is what it is, at least in CC 2018. The thing with this, though, with the brushes when you drop it down, is these brushes here, at least in this situation, are not the ones you want. You want to go basically down to the general brushes over here. Let's go with this first general brushes. And you want to click soft round. This is the one that works, or soft round pressure size. But let's go with soft round. And then close it. Uh, so, and now we can start painting with white. So make sure that white is selected here in your foreground color. You do have the option, and this is often a good one, to take a color from the teeth itself, and then you can sort of color in specific to like a area of the teeth. So I could take that color, and you know what? Let's just do it. Let's go with that color for now. And now we're going to start painting. But you know what? That's not really looking too good because the that's not a nice color. This guy's teeth are not good. So let's just go with white. Now, let's go in here and start adding in some white. So as you see as we're going here, and this is slow going, right? We're making his teeth nice and white. So guys, this is how you go ahead and uh, adjust colors and adjust the make yellow teeth with cavities and cracks and all that nasty stuff into white. Uh, it can be a bit of a tedious process if the guy's got teeth like this dude, but in most cases it's quite easy. Just follow these simple steps, guys, and you will have nice and white teeth. I'll just go ahead and do a little bit more here and then call it a day. Um, I'll also mention if you keep you know, going over top of the same areas, it gets whiter and whiter. The reason why is because you generally want to have a low opacity and a low flow rate, even though the flow rate is kind of, you know, you can go nuts on that if you want to but the reason why I do it this way with the low rates on both of them is because it allows you to sort of do more I don't know custom work you can actually you know get like a 30 percent and then if you want it whiter you go over top of it again if you want it whiter you go over top of it again until you've got like you know crystal pearly white but this way you can sort of do it in gradients and you can just sort of do it in like you know grades as opposed to you know, all at once. So anyways, guys, that's how you whiten teeth. I hope you enjoyed the, the tutorial. I'll be back more with some more stuff shortly. We're going to do eye color next. Thanks for watching. Bye.